it was a sheer accident because the original intention was that we would have the animals here so that we would be self-sufficient and that we would raise the animals for food in our kitchen. We would produce our own milk. And that's when we began to think about animal-assisted therapy, animal-assisted education, animal-assisted psychotherapy. All these words that describe the having the presence of animals. The majority of our children are coming in with externalizing behaviors. What that means is that they are acting out in school, they're unable to go to school. If you come to our campus and you look at the kids, um, the kids look like they're having a great time. It looks like a, a, a really happy, lively school. What you don't know is that these kids, have, most of them have had school failure, they've had psychiatric hospitalizations, some of them have been removed from their home for other reasons. We're really not curing children, we're intervening. Every animal has lessons to teach. We facilitate between the animals and the children and, and see what happens. Uh, the wildlife teaches them about boundaries, that they are free animals, that they are dangerous animals sometimes. The farm animals, it's a, a totally different lesson. It's about warmth, about uh, contact with an animal. They all have names, um, healthy relationship with an animal. What's really neat about the horses is they use body language very honestly and they do mirror the language that you use with them. So if you're a little uptight, maybe you're not aware of it, the horse is going to let you know that you're uptight. It's wonderful to watch a child who for most of his life has been a service receiver turn into a service provider. We think of it as a program where children heal animals and animals heal kids. It's dramatic when a child who's electively mute will all of a sudden start talking. Little miraculous things happen every day. I'm never tired of helping somebody because I feel that so many people have helped me along the way. Even when adversity looked like we weren't be going to be there next year. But uh, we did it and we're going to continue to do it. I enjoy doing, getting up every day and doing it. I'm not that important. I'm just one person on earth here, and I want to live it courageously, and I want to be able to say uh, when I pull my last breath, uh, I did well. You feel that way, dear? You did well. You yes, said well. <laughs>